Hello, my name is Casey Stubbs, and I'm going to be doing some analysis on the Shibarium tokens, some of the best tokens on the Shibarium. It's a new network. There's not a lot of volume yet. So it's an opportunity for people to get in on the ground floor. I've just launched a new newsletter all about Shibarium. And so this technical analysis piece is part of that newsletter. All right. So uh, we're going to first take a look at Ralph. And again, we're definitely going to need some more volume to pick up here. Because if you take a look at this token here, on the first day, second day, we had $391,000 exchange hands. Not a lot. Um, or actually that is a lot. 391,000 is a lot of money. Uh, but then again, here it was only 1000 yesterday. Okay. Uh, but we did have a very nice move. A lot of buyers picked in the sellers couldn't keep up. And so what we have is, uh, a, a situation where the sellers, there's just no more selling momentum and the buyers have said, okay, we're stepping in. And so what we need to happen is for it to cross that blue line, which is basically the 6,000 level. Uh, you can see we're starting to get a base here and another base. So I would expect price to come up, maybe come back down and then come up. But for this to actually challenge the new highs, we're really going to need to see a lot of buyers step in. And even right at this level, you're going to notice if we go down to the, um, if we go to the transactions, you're going to see that quite a few sellers stepped in when it hit that level. So the sellers are trying to hold that. We're going to see if the buyers pick up. Okay, so that's the first token, the Ralph. And let's take a look at Ryoshi. Ryoshi token. Now, Ryoshi's got a lot more action happening. Uh, you can see that we had a big move early. Ryoshi's an older token on this network, one of the first tokens. It launched on September 23rd, and uh, we had a huge stack right off the bat. Really nice volume, 68,000. And then since then, it came down, held the level, spiked right up, and then it came down again and spiked up again. So really, we have no actual pattern here happening right now except for big spikes and rejections. So uh, what I would probably do if I was looking for a trading opportunity here, I would draw a zone where I'm looking to add, right? I'm looking to add. And in that case, if it comes back down here, start adding, or maybe just add a little bit here, a little bit here, a little bit here. And then when it comes down, add a lot, because every time so far, you know, patterns repeat themselves every time, uh, there's been a drop. Buyers have stepped in. You can see the volume will pick up when it gets down there too. Volumes picked up. Volumes picked up. And so, if it maybe a little bit of a test right now, but uh, that would probably be the way that I would trade this and manage this. Let's keep moving here. We're going to take a look at Cryptic. All right. So Cryptic is had a lot of action as well. Some very good price action, and it's a little difficult to do price action like this when you've got two, two scenarios what we have. Number one is these are new coins. Number two, new tokens. Number two, there's new, these are new, that's a new blockchain. So the, the volume is a little bit low, but this, the mark, amazingly, the technical analysis still does work. So right now, what we have with the cryptic coin is that token, uh, we have a double top, right? And it's basically inside of a range. And so I would just trade it as such inside the range, buy, sell, buy, sell until we get a breakout, right? And then when we get a breakout, maybe you could buy some or just buy a little bit here and then sell a little bit at the top, but then hold some, right? And um, that's a great way to trade this. But you can see that we do have a very strong number of buyers step in. You got the buying volume to push it up, went up, and then it looked like it was going to break. It went up to its all-time high at zero two, but it didn't have enough buyers to step in. And so for us to see this get a new high, we got to see more buyers stepping in. Token, Sharby. And by the way, I'll put a link to all of these um, groups in the description and a link to my newsletter as well. Um, so you can read the full newsletter on everything 
and get all the scoop on what's going on with Shibarium. Okay, so right here we've got um, a, a, just an insane move on the first day, 156,000. And since then, volume has just been kind of crawling along and you haven't had any big moves. But the, you, what you got to realize is that because these moves are, they seem small on the chart, they're actually pretty big and there is an opportunity to make some money. And, and why do I say that? Because if we look at this zone here, it's 0 0.064, and this is 0 0.085. So that's a big move. That's 40, right? That's 40. That's a lot of a lot of area. And so if you bought something in there, um, it's a big enough move to be able to take a very nice level of profit. And if we actually look at some of these, one of the things about I like about this deck screener platform is you can click top traders, and you can see who's making money here. And you can see that this, um, there's a trader here that made four thousand dollars, or at thirty four hundred rather. This trader made twenty nine hundred. He bought, he sold four thousand dollars worth of token, but he, and it could have been a she, but profited twenty nine hundred. So that's not chump change, you know. I'll take those trades, right? Uh, so the analysis for this one though is. We're sort of moving in an uptrend now. We had the big spike, but we have, there's a new higher high, a new higher high, and a new higher high. And here we have a low and a new lower low. So if this breaks out and takes the new high, right here, we have an uptrend. And so this is one I would probably consider buying a little bit just to see if we could break out and then maybe come back down into here. And if you're interested on how to get access to Shibarium Network, uh, which I'll link to in the description. Okay, now let's do Chewy Swap. Actually, let's see. We might do a few more. Okay, here we go. Chewy Swap. All right. So Chewy Swap, pretty nice price action right now. Really good volume. As a matter of fact, we had uh, 11,000 in volume a couple days ago. And so that volume got us on a breakout of this key level. We broke this trend line. We broke out of this channel. And not only did we break out of the channel, you're going to see we came down, we retested, and now we're headed back up. So I would look for price to maybe come up to 0.11 area. And uh, if we can get the buyers to step in, you can see recently a few sellers have come in, but... If there's people that are interested in this and, and buyers come in, we could easily see this get up there to 0.11. And then if it breaks out of that, breaks this all-time high, from there, we could see a new uptrend if it breaks that level. Okay, uh, let's take a look at, I wanted to look at the, and we'll look at different ones each week. Let's look at MarSwap token, MarSwap token. Uh, this one's looking very nice. Uh, the volume on it has been pretty low, but the pattern has been good, right? So we had a an extended down move right here. The big spike, which we, is very common right now on these pairs, but uh, from here, there's a big lower low, okay? Lower low. Got to break out if it makes a new high and then comes like that. That's how trends are formed because trends move like this, right? They move like that. Higher high, right? And so we can see if we look at that over here, that's what's starting to form here. It looks like a new trend, but we're going to need buyers to step in, people to come in and take a look at this token. Okay, so that's the Mars swap token. And, uh, we got two more to go, and let's go ahead and take a look at the overall, and then I'll pull pull out a couple more here. Uh, so overall, our volume here is forty thousand. Just the other day, it was around a hundred thousand. We'd like to see this steadily pick up to get a lot of traders onto this blockchain, a lot of this decentralized exchange, uh, so that we're seeing these prices move and give traders an opportunity to make some revenue on these trades. Okay, so, but one of the pairs I wanted to look at was FEF, Financial and Educational Freedom. Uh, this particular pair is a little bit different than what we've seen on the other ones. And why is it different? 
Well, the main reason is, is because we didn't get a big spike on day one. You'll notice. Instead, we got a drop. Big, a lot of sellers picked in here. And I'm not sure exactly why that happened. But right off the bat, a lot of people came in and they sold. Um, you'll, you're going to notice here uh, the volume was the highest day on a selling day. Well, then after that, the buyers started to step in and we went up for uh, about eight days in a row. And then we slowly came down. And if we take a look at our uh, Fibonacci retracement here and we swing this up, you're going to notice that it went to the 6.18 level and it held that level, which was a great place to step in. And now we're headed back up, right? And so it's very possible that we could hit our all-time highs. And if we do hit all-time highs here, and again, it just depends on if buyers step in. We never know what's going to happen. I never try to make predictions or anything like that. All I do is say what can happen, and then you have to trade it. No trader's right all the time. It just doesn't work that way. Um, but if we run this out, whoops, I'm running the wrong way. Um, if we run this out from here to here, you're going to notice there's some possible targets. Okay, and uh, this 1.618 extension is the 1.05. So if this trend continues, you, we could possibly see price go up to 0 0.0015, which is a really nice return from this point. So something you might want to consider. Okay, uh, but as always, do your own research and manage that risk. That's the way to the name of the game in trading is managing your risk. Okay, now... One more token, and then we're going to call it a close. Uh, so right here, we have uh, this token, again, is very different because we didn't have the big spike, right? And you can see it's got a pretty good market cap and some volume picking up towards the end here. This is 6.9, 6.9 uh, token. And what are you going to notice here is that uh, we had a pretty solid move to the upside and a pullback. Right, so let's manage that. Let's let's examine that fib on on what that did. So we're gonna go from here to here, and then we're gonna um, zoom up. Okay. So that fib went right to the thirty eight point two, and it held that level. If we extend it out even more, okay. So that is where we went, and we held that level. Now let's run the retracement on it. Let's run it from here to there and see what the targets look like. That's why I always run these targets because they're, it's pretty interesting how they play out. So this time it easily went, <laughs> it went way past all of the extensions, right? And so that's why when you're trading, a lot of times I will take some profit, but, uh, but many times I will let it run because you just don't know when something is going, you don't know how far it's going to go. Okay, because this one went way, I'm going to shrink it down. It went way beyond the 4.2 target, which is even beyond the, the crypto, the Fib, Fibonacci scale. You could add some more Fibs, but it just went, it went way, way, way up. It went up a thousand percent. Okay, so when you see that happen, there's either two things that can happen. Number one is it's going to go right back down and crash because the sellers are going to step in. And that did happen here because you can see it went down pretty heavy. But what, what you want to notice here is that this level held pretty strong. See, when you have a, a move like this, there's always going to be sellers coming in and you have support and resistance. And so the new, the roof becomes the floor. This is the roof, the new floor, the roof, the new floor. So right here, we have a roof. And that's the new floor. So how would I trade this? Well, it's interesting how well this held up because price came down here and it's coming right back up. I would expect to see this either come up to new all-time highs. There's going to have to be a lot of sellers, or excuse me, there's going to have to be a lot of buyers stepping in. But if it comes back down here, definitely consider to see if this holds, bring more buyers in and see if it'll step its way in to breaking out. And if it does, if it breaks the all-time high here, Let's see what we think could happen by running a FIB retracement like we did on the last one. Okay. And uh, if it does anything like it did before, prices of 
Got to shrink it down, right? So if it goes past the 4.2, which it did much last time, it went all the way to the 7,000 level. So that's definitely a possibility here. And you never know uh, because if uh, when you see a, a blockchain like this with a new, it means the prices can move. The prices can move pretty quick. And at that time when the prices are moving, they can just keep going and going and going because that buying frenzy kicks in and everybody starts talking and because this is a small community and people talk. And so when something happens, it kicks in. So that's my recommendations. That's how I'm looking at this. Uh, 